I have been unable to fully understand the news coverage of the uh, the Dallas QAnon convention. It's bad. yeah, it's, you know, big big. Uh, and the great thing is now, you know, if you're really worried, if you if you were ever wondering if the QAnon thing would die out, uh, you need to know this: the two main figures that promoted this, that got these people out there, weren't like, obviously not Q. I don't know if you guys know this, but Q actually many, many years ago, the anonymous Q, the account that started this all, actually shot down the idea that JFK Jr. was alive outright in one of his posts. And they don't believe him. So mm-hmm. if you're wondering, you know, so the two people who actually got most of these people out there, not even long time, like, QAnon personalities that they've developed relationships with, two fairly new QAnon telegram channels. Literally, they got these people out there. So, you know, people will believe literally anything. It's it's, it's really... Where, Why where, Dallas? Where, was it because JFK was shot there or is that? Yes. Other, okay. He so was going to appear at the uh, JFK Jr. or even by some accounts, JFK himself. Yeah, I've been at the grassy knoll the whole time. I've been right underneath yes. the trees. <laughs> JFK and Tupac were going to pop out of like, I guess, you know, a, <laughs> a super you're, great. You're joking about the Tupac thing, but uh, it is not a joke, actually. They also believe that various other celebrities, including people like Robin Williams and Tupac, are yeah. also secretly alive and we're going to uh, eventually, maybe even alongside JFK uh, and JFK Jr., reveal themselves to be alive. I'm not even shitting you. Like they, people were waiting for like Michael Jackson to show up too at the oh, Dallas why event. Why do they think the celebrities are on their side is my question. Why would Tupac be on the QAnon side? Why would JFK, the liberal president, be on Because they hate side? pedophiles, obviously. Right, right. right. I my, 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 my serious hated pedophiles. My serious answer is that uh, deep down with a lot of these conspiracies, especially after I covered the Nasara conspiracy uh, two weeks ago on my show, uh, a lot of these people are unable to deal and grasp the regular things that we all go through in life, such as death. And you'll notice that a lot of these celebrities that they want to be alive. Remember, we're talking a conspiracy that at least the JFK, the JFK contingent, mostly people who were alive when JFK was alive, even if they were very young, you know, boomer aged uh, people. Uh they uh, can't deal with the fact that people they liked when they were young and like admired and looked up to like celebrities from the time uh, are dead. And so they hold out hope that all these random conspiracies are true. So, you know, their their favorite Mork and Mindy actor could still be there waiting for them to, you know, who knows what. But that, that's really what I think most of this is about yeah. is people unable to deal with like the realities of life. So they grasp these conspiracy theories to hope for something different. Yeah, and also why they added that scene at the end of Batman, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, where you see Catwoman and Bruce Wayne eating, uh, I don't know, like croissants at like a Paris uh, Mm -hmm. cafe or Michael Caine season, not us, but Michael Caine season movie. So like, I mean, had any of them gone to like a local cafe and maybe they could have seen JFK Jr. having a croissant with like Aaliyah or something, you know, maybe they should do that. Right. Yeah, I mean, the Aaliyah, de- Aaliyah probably doesn't know. They probably don't care about Aaliyah out, out of their age category. Oh, come on. Everyone loves Aaliyah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, honestly, I can't remember what the name of the song is, but the one with, with DMX, uh, she had a lot with DMX, I think, where like they're like doing that dance in like the Matrix style, like a uh, catacomb of white walls. That, that's one of my favorite music videos. Now, where's Kurt Cobain in all this? Um, that- Judged by uh, Courtney Love. Oh, well. Okay, on those. <laughs> um, Binder, I think you're right about the like, there's can't do with death thing too, because in Andrew Call- Callahan's Channel Five News, he did the uh, one on like anti-maskers, and there's a guy there who basically thinks like Kobe Bryant, yes. didn't actually die because he and he, he was executed sort of, by the Clintons, and the exact same thing happened with Anthony Bourdain like a year earlier, <laughs> or, like, or around the same time. My t- my sense of time's all gone, but yeah, they just. It, it, I and I, I guess in a certain way, like I didn't want to believe certain people died, and you, I, but you can't just. I don't want to believe Kobe died, but it. he died. Like I mean, it's just. It, I I wonder how. I, I don't know how. Uh, para, the, the these parasocial relationships like make these. I wish I could get there. theories that more salient, like in the time or internet age, where you can just like look up everything you want about 
ex celebrity. Yeah, like it's 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 sort of parallel with like the anti vaxxers, right? Like a lot of anti vaxxers are very religious and they don't really care if they, you know, if they did die from if they were part of that you know, point, whatever percent they say it is. Because after all, this is like this is the torture for them and that they just can't wait to get to their real life, the afterlife, you know, in heaven. Uh, you know, so that's how they deal and they don't care about people around them. The same here, like this is like, but just like in a, in a different way. There, these people are unable able to deal with the fact that people they like have died so to cope they just say no they're they're really alive we, we you know they're they're part of something bigger and they're here and eventually they will unveil themselves to be really alive so that way you know they don't have to get depressed that you know they can't watch uh, mj moonwalk across the stage anymore i'm willing to entertain the idea that the clintons had kobe bryant killed if someone has a good explanation of why uh you know he wasn't even playing ball anymore so it wasn't even to fix the game so he was going to expose their drinking of blood of children yeah. you funny understand thing, right the funny that thing is about part that of the yes that is a thing the funny thing about that not the blood drinking but just generally the idea that they have to come back to expose like certain malfeasance is that so much stuff that like you know the clintons do have done wrong is just out there and available on their wikipedia and it doesn't really require anyone faking their death to come back it's just no one really retains that information yeah, <laughs> so exposure. like Exposure is massively overrated. <laughs> like, it doesn't like do anything. And also, I mean, the the things that they're exposed for doing uh, aren't really of interest to people who are more like evangelical or religiously minded that are caught up in Q because it doesn't have satanic under undercurrents to it. It's just like, oh, this is corruption and capitalism, and our system is really screwy. And the Clintons took advantage of it. Uh, they're not, you know worshiping satan and smearing children's blood on their tongues well also they can't because capitalism and like sort of that language of surrounding labor and class is you know stripped from people they can't understand that like you know they put the stuff that the clintons in america does to other countries and also minorities in their own country in a box and when that kind of stuff trickles into like you know populations that aren't supposed to be victims of that kind of terror they have to resort to some kind of weird conspiracy to explain like well you know it's not that uh that the private prison industry ran out of black and brown bodies and so like you know now they're just coming for poor people generally and like a uh, college tuition debtors you know it's because there's actually some sort of blood drinking satanic cult out there and it's just like well you can't account, account for that you know just generally but you know this language or rather this lack of language for people to understand why certain things that they have relegated to other populations that's okay are also affecting them directly now or and they have been affecting them indirectly just like you know gives rise to a space for these conspiracy theories to just like you know filter in to fill that gap Oh, just look at just look at how they're acting uh, uh, towards the uh, the January sixth uh, Capitol rioters who are currently in a prison. Uh, they're on TV right now. Uh, various different uh, right wing pundits talking about how they're in. I saw Marjorie Taylor Greene herself talking about this. How they're in squalid conditions and they're being abused and they're political prisoners. And then just the other day, a story came out that a bunch of uh, DC prisoners are actually being moved out of a prison with horrible conditions to a newer facility. And a question was asked as to why weren't the Capitol rioters also being moved? And the reasoning was because all the Capitol rioters are actually in the new facility and were <laughs> never subject to the terrible conditions that, you know, all the black and brown prisoners, I'm sure, make up a large majority of that, who, who are being moved. So, you know, the idea that the, the nice prison that they're staying in is actually the one they're claiming is the squalid conditions and they're being you know abused. And when in reality, they're just dealing with like normal prison life, but not even that, like nice, normal prison life, like the upgraded version, if there is such a thing. And they I can't even handle that. abuse in America. I would say oh, in America, yes, I would yes, still believe yeah. even our nicest prisons qualify sure, for like sure. human rights campaign. But no, the but my point is, is that apt, they don't really, definitely. they don't really, they're not going to like look within and say like, wow, is this the experience that all people are going through yeah. in prison? And maybe we should change our minds about it. No, they're going to say like, no, this was specifically done to us because there is no more uh, persecuted class in the United United States of America than Catholic, not the Catholic, Christians and conservatives or something like that. Us. They probably don't care too much about the Catholics. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Catholics going away. 
you know, despite people's willingness to like hand wave away the suffering of traditionally marginalized groups, the worst thing you can like even hint at in this country is that like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know, the worst thing you could hint at, hint at in this country is the whole like, I guess the chickens are coming home to roost because the idea that like this was always an inevitability that the, you know, the uh, foreign surveillance state was always going to be applied domestically, not just to terrorists and protesters, but to everybody, you know, that the prison and police in industrial complex was only going to be targeted at brown and black people and now it's you know targeted at the real patriots or whatever is just taken for granted that that should be some kind of motivation for people you know honestly like us who have always been talking about this thing you know these uh, systems and how abusive they are to suddenly switch gears and really you know emphasize how much worse it is that when it happens to like real people who we're supposed to value yeah um we have uh well hold on. we have some responses in the ims to this maddie light if robin williams was still alive that would be great is chris cornell and chester bennington still alive uh too and wayne Bennington is one that gets in those conspiracies yeah yes he does he's he uh, was killed because he was about to unleash all the information that he knew about the pe satanic pedophile rings you know the guy from uh lincoln park obviously was going to be in on that and know all that information